Good morning. Good morning. Mm, love that they all stare at me in bed. <laughs> what are we doing today? I don't know what I'm doing today, but apparently it's a vlog really. No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. I guess we're vlogging the day and I have a surprise or two and I want to document it. And so we're doing so. Right now I'm laying in bed and while my sister and mom are getting ready and I'm watching Grey's Anatomy and just chilling until they finish getting ready and then I'll start getting ready. Um, I think it's around 8 now and then I know we have to be in the car by 9.30 to go where? I don't know. But that's literally all I know and I'm gonna wear a cute outfit and look cute which I'm excited about because I haven't got ready in a while. Like, ready, ready. So I guess we're going to go along this journey together and we'll find out at the same time. You look really pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I love the hair. Okay, so we have 20 minutes until we have to be in the car, I guess. And um, I'm ready. I'm dressed and where I did my hair and makeup. We just took my braids out and it's, Kind of cute, I like it. So, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm gonna go get some food and then see what happening is next. Next. Okay. Well, while Mika's out eating, I thought I'd fill you guys in a little on what's happening today, because obviously she doesn't know anything, and I know a little bit more than she does. But at 9:30, the Prosper Police are coming to our apartment, and they are going to escort us to. I believe we're going to the Prosper Police Station not exactly sure but they're gonna escort us to wherever we we're going so that'll be really cool and then i believe they're doing like a presentation literally i don't know all i know is that the prosper varsity cheerleaders are gonna be there and Mika's gonna be so excited to see all them because that's her teammates so they wanted to keep all of this kind of a secret for our family too so we can be surprised so that's as much as i know but i just wanted to fill you guys in so that's what's about to happen in about 10 minutes. So right now we're in the car. We got two cops, one leading, and then my dad and Connor are behind us. And then another cop. Karen! The window's down, waving at everybody. What do you think, Michaela? Um, I feel crazy. I'm like, what? They like came up and were like talking to us and we're like, all right, so if you see, um, like if the light turns like yellow or like red, like just don't pay attention to them. Like <laughs> you just follow us, like, and I was like, I was like, my mom doesn't pay attention to that anyway, so don't worry. Mom, were you embarrassed enough? No, that was funny. It's the truth. I thought it was funny. It's the truth. <laughs> anyway, so we have a cop in front of us, and then my dad and brother are behind us, and then there's another cop. So. And they, like, went out in the intersection and, like, turned the lights on and, like, went, like, catty corner like that to block everybody, so then we all came up. Oh, they're all in. They're in. Oh, wait, too. You should have rolled your window down. No, no, I don't want to hear the noises. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that she experienced. Um, in this trial, what do we do? We recognize and we reward the spirit that you are shown. This is true not only in police service, it's true in fire and rescue service, it's true in the military, it's also true in the sporting world, the athletic world. Everyone in society admires those who persevere. 
We really do. It's not the fact that you hit a tragedy, but it's the fact of the way you are coming back from it and your spirit and the way you have a relentless attitude to come back. That is what makes Texas, Texas. And we're all proud of you. I can't even begin to tell you how proud we are. And that spirit is what brings us all here today. On that note, I'd, I'd like to bring up the uh, mayor. The mayor has a few things he'd like to say and uh, has something special here for you. The overcoming the many obstacles she has endured now, therefore, I, Ray Smith, mayor of the town of Prosper, Texas, do hereby declare Michaela Noble Day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no uh, way. <laughs> uh, uh, let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> On the 17th day, December 2021, in honor of her continual display of bravery, courageousness, thereby making her an inspiration to all those around her. This is for you. Thank you so much. After the ceremony was over, I got to celebrate with all my friends and family and took pictures with all the officers and the first responders that were actually there with me on the accident. So these are the guys that were in the ambulance with me. And I made fun of the guy right there um, in the ambulance. So I was apologizing to him because... I just felt really bad about that since it happened. There's all my teammates. Um, okay, now this is an Inside Edition interview, and I think it's airing soon, hopefully. Happy Michaela Noble Day! I legit have a Michaela Noble Day. December 17th, everybody. It's amazing. Now I can celebrate my birthday and my day. Thank you so much. I'm seriously, like, I've said it a million times. Prosper, like, literally just Prosper as a whole the town of Prosper. Everybody in Prosper is amazing. I cannot thank everybody enough. I love y'all. 